Are we ready? Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for being here today. Uh, my name is Kiri Dietzik. I have the honor and privilege to represent Southeast and Northeast Minneapolis. Uh, it's the area around the University of Minnesota. And I have the honor and privilege to be the new Senate Majority Leader. I take that role very seriously. I, um, it is, I take it uh, seriously and with great um, dedication to the state and to my colleagues um, to make this work. We, are, we were given the trivecta and we are here to show that we are ready to lead. And I'll introduce our leadership team. This is the, um, for elected leaders, we will be doing, we're still having conversations about additional um, assistant leaders. Um, the president of the Senate, I'd like to introduce Senator Bobby Joe Champion. Uh, tax chair is Senator Ann Rust, and finance chair is Senator John Marty. So, questions? This is very natural, Senator. Uh, in, our, in our discussions, that we're having discussions here, we will be having additional leaders. We have the most diverse caucus in history, and we will have the leadership team will will represent that entire diversity. That's diversity across the state. That's diversity, um, racial diversity. And so we are still having those discussions on um, additional assistance. What kind of leadership style do you think that you'll bring to this role? Uh, my goal is to be very inclusive and to unify us. We, we were elected to uh, move forward and to move Minnesota forward. And um, voters told us they don't want gridlock. They gave us the trifecta, and so my role is to keep us unified together and to move stuff forward to improve Minnesotans' lives. I believe, and many of you have heard me say, we all do better when we all do better, and that's what I, um, that is kind of my, part of my goal and just core is to make sure that everyone across Minnesota, no matter what zip code they live in, that they do better and they are given the opportunity to succeed. Senator, getting back to the, to the demographics of the leadership team being all from the metro area, that's a pretty stark contrast to Senator Mark Johnson, who's from East Grand Forks. Uh, Republicans are going to say, look, this is more just uh, governing from the metro area. How will you respond to that? This is not our entire <coughs> leadership team. This, uh, is, I'm sorry. That. this is not our entire leadership team. We will have additional. So we have the president, we have the tax chair, and the finance chair. We are still having discussions about additional assistance, and that those additional assistants. My goal is to make sure that we we highlight that the diversity that we have in our caucus. We are the most diverse caucus ever. Because that is something that will be top of mind to represent the whole state, right, and not just the metro area. Correct. Correct. You talk about you talked about you know governing the inclusive Minnesotans don't want gridlock um, but the how narrow the majority is you'll have to have your caucus in lockstep in order to pass progressive policies you guys just met in there for the first time can you talk about um, how you see that how important that is um, and how you plan to to keep everybody in line if you will um. We, we need to be unified. We do have just 34 members, and so we are going to need to be unified. We are going to have those conversations to make sure that uh, we move the bills forward. I think there was, you know, again, this is our first caucus meeting, and so we haven't had brief conversations or deep conversations on what the agenda will look like. I think that will be coming. Um, but, you know, we had, we were out, out just finished meeting with um, voters, and we had conversations with voters. And so I think there's a lot of stuff that we will find we agree on. And I think we will move that, and then we'll have, you know, going forward, we'll have additional conversations about what other bills. But like you said, we have a 34 majority, so we are going to need to um, be united and, and, and stand together so that we can uh, support Minnesotans. Senator Champion, why do you want to be president? Wow. Well, let me just say this. First of all, um, there's a saying that talks about when I thought things were falling apart, everything fell in line, right? and fell in place. Um, one of the reasons why I want to be president, one is because I believe I have the skills and qualifications by which to uh, navigate the rules and tradition and balance that with how do we make sure that we're having a robust discussion on our Senate floor to benefit Minnesotans. So that is to make sure that there are guiding principles that can lead uh, our caucus, but also the minority as well, because I believe 
important, robust discussion includes all of us. And even though I have the skills and qualifications, it was not lost on me that Minnesota has never had a, a Senate president of color. And I'm proud because that also is, is a reflection of our values, that we want to make sure that there's much inclusion and diversity geographically, racially, eth ethnically, um, or ethnicity. Uh, and so my elevation to uh, that pre the presidency is just a reflection of that. So I must tell you that it is an honor, and I'm, I'm pleased by the decision, but I'm also hoping that I not only serve as president, but I have an opportunity to uh, lead a committee as well, because I think that important balance, which is in line with history, allows the Senate president to also uh, lead a committee as well. So I, I'm excited, and I am honored that uh, the, uh, my caucus, I thought it was important to, to put me forward. Uh, and I hope and look forward to uh, getting uh, support, not only from my caucus, but also the minority caucus as well. Because I work across the aisle, and it's all about how do we make sure Minnesotans' uh, issues are front and center. And I just want to create a mechanism for that to happen. But I'm also proud to say that uh, 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 Senator Rest is also the uh, pro tem as well. And so we will work together in order to make sure that uh, everything is fully functioning. So thank you for that important question, and I sincerely appreciate it. And Senator Chairman, on that point, you'll have a very visible position in the Senate. Is that important that people see that image on television and newspapers, on a social media? Absolutely. When we talk about inclusion and diversity, we, sh we should not just have it as um, a slogan, but it should be represented in every action that we put forward. So it's not only important for our members and for us as members of the uh, Senate, but also for the broader community. And it's also, in my opinion, an, an opportunity for individuals to turn on the TV and see someone else that looks like them as well. And to inspire other folks in order to say, you know what, if he can do it from North Minneapolis, then I can do it as well. So I often say what's also good for for, for um, uh, North Minneapolis is also good for the rest of the state. So it's about diversity. It's about providing opportunity, and it's also about providing uh, inspiration, not just for our members, but also the rest of the state. Senator, Re Senator Rest and Senator Marty, could you just each tell us briefly what your roles will be uh, in the new legislature? Well, as um, thank you very much. As um, uh, the new president, or soon to be elected president mentioned, I will be serving um, as his partner, um, the Senate President Pro Tem. I'll be very active on the floor, helping members with their bills and understanding the rules. We have very many new members, and we want to make sure when they go to the floor that they're going to be well prepared in um, presenting their bills. Uh, in addition, um, uh, I've served on the tax committee in both the House and the Senate for uh, decades, actually, uh, four years in the House as, um, as the tax chair, and now after 20 years in the Senate, I will be the tax chair. Um, I intend to work with the, uh, the governor and the, um, uh, and the House tax chair, I don't know who that is yet, um, to uh, present a unified agenda to the people of Minnesota um, based on uh, tax policy that we believe is sound and that um, uplifts um, Minnesotans in, um, in regaining trust in, uh, in the legislature. I will be very active in that, and, um, um, and I'm, I'm thrilled to pieces. <laughs> I'm really happy to have that role. Thank you. Senator Hardy. Thank you. I'm honored to be selected by the caucus to chair the Senate Finance Committee, which I've served on for a number of years, and, and I'm excited. I think we can put together a good budget that reflects the values of the people of Minnesota and is going to serve the people of Minnesota well and intend to include the entire Senate, the entire caucus, everybody involved in this. And as, as both um, Leader Dietzik and President Champion said, we do have a very diverse caucus, and I'm very excited to be working with them. This is our first time meeting together, first time meeting some of the members of the caucus. Very bright, exciting future ahead of us. So I'm very excited about that and look forward to putting together a good budget in conjunction with this entire caucus. Leader Dietzik, do you want to do closing comments? Then we'll bring out the rest of the caucus so you can see the new majority. Um, I mean, how contentious is it 
process was was this. I mean, it, it's still striking to me that two people from Minneapolis, one from an inner ring, Minneapolis suburb, two inner ring suburbs. Um, As I have mentioned before, we're still, this is not the entire leadership team. We will have a leader, entire leadership team will deflect the diversity across the caucus. We have members that represent areas from International Falls to Moorhead to Mankato and, and many areas in between. And so this is about, we, we want to do and put forward an agenda and we want to help uplift all Minnesotans. And so I think that is our goal. We uh, just met for the first time today. Some of us had never um, met in person. And so uh, I think this is a good introductory meeting. We'll have some continuing discussions on what that agenda looks like based on what members heard when they were door knocking on the floor and door knocking um, in their districts. And so uh, I think our goal of this caucus, my vision for this caucus and for the state is um, what I have said many times before, we all do better when we all do better. And it shouldn't matter what zip code you live in, everybody should have opportunities to succeed. Okay, thank, you. continue to have discussions, but I think at the core of what we want to do is uh, promote legislation and pass bills that will uplift everybody. It shouldn't matter, as I've said again many times already today, it shouldn't matter what zip code you live in. We want every Minnesotan to have that opportunity to succeed. Senator, one question about your one vote majority. Have you told everyone no sick days? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, it's going to be if, if one person is missing on any given day, that can make make or break whether legislation passes. I know you can play around with the schedule a little bit, but how important will that be? I, I have told our members that um, we need to be in, we need to be inclusive. We need to be um, trusting each other. We're going to continue to work together. We've just met a lot of us, so we're going to build that relationship um, because the bills that we move forward, we're going to have to have an agreement on. And I think there is so much here. We are we are very diverse. We are from across the state, but there is so much that we all agree on and that we have all heard from our constituents. And so I think that is what we're gonna do is to move Minnesota forward. What about uh, priorities? You, got, you have anything you're gonna do on day one or day two or three? We're still discussing that. Sorry. We are still discussing that. Talk big picture priority issues, maybe not specific policy. Again, it's just all to help Minnesotans. All right, thank you everybody. Thank you.